Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Jovan and I am the administrator of the Sims Community website and welcome back. Yes, it's been quite a long time since I've done a video for The Sims 4 and well generally for The Sims on this YouTube channel and I think it's time that I go back and see what's happening right now and what better time than the announcement of a brand new expansion pack which is called The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So The Sims 4 Snowy Escape is the 10th expansion pack which is set to release on November 13th uh, for PC, Mac, and all of the consoles, all of the platforms that you can play The Sims 4 right now on. So the first thing that I'm going to be covering are some of the information that Sim Gurus have shared. So Graham Nardone did confirm that the brand new world is called Mount Kamarabi, and it has actually been built in collaboration with Delegacy, James Turner, Lil Simsy, and Simlacy. So it could be a similar collaborative effort that was done with Evergreen Harbor, which was a new world that came with um, the Sims for Eco Lifestyle. So some of the lots and households have actually been created there with the help of some of the simmers. And it seems that the new world is also going to be a collaborative effort. And Sim Guru Frost, who is the community manager for The Sims, did confirm that you won't be needing The Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack in order to enjoy The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. It seems to be a, a whole standalone uh, pack that won't be needing seasons to rely on, you know, the features. So there is of course the reveal trailer that you probably have checked out but what I want to talk about are some of the frames and aspects that have been shown in the screen so we did extract all of the high quality screens from the trailer that you can see on simscommunity.info and I want to talk about the little things that have been shown uh, with the frames so uh, obviously snowboarding is back skiing is back of course skiing is a whole new thing that's uh, new with the sims 4 snow escape inside of the sims franchise we did have like snowboarding with the sims 3 seasons but that was limited to the ramp object you were able to snowboard only on the ramp but it seems here that you are going to be able to uh, snowboard in this neighborhood entirely and we also get sledding so I've also seen that you are able to sled with your toddlers as well so finally some proper family gameplay in the game like for all of the ages. Yes, I'm looking at you, The Sims 4 Discovery University bicycle feature that was only exclusive to teens and up. Yes, that was a little bit too long, but okay, let's move on. Uh, so sledding is coming with uh, Snowy Escape. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this whole name. And this world, Mount Komorebi, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, has, you know, a snowy aspect to it, a snowy neighborhoods. Uh, we don't know how many neighborhoods are there yet, but there also seems to be a quiet Asian neighborhood Hood that comes along with it as well. I'm hoping that there's multiple and not just like one that they've shown up over here. And from what I've seen in the blog post that they posted, uh, they've also mentioned that your Sims are going to be able to build a vacation in the new world, but and also reside in. So it's not just a destination world, it's a mix of both worlds. Um, Hannah Montana reference? I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, so, Deep Snow. Yes, uh, they did say that for aesthetic purposes, they aren't going to include like deep snow with the Sims 4 seasons, but now they are adding deep snow. Now that poses a question. Are we going to get deep snow with the Sims 4 seasons? Is deep snow going to be improved uh, with the latest pack? Of course, it could be only tied into this world considering that they had to modify all of the objects so it looks good in deep snow, but of course time will tell. Um, and trains, yeah. Yes, trains, I don't know if they're going to be usable or not, or if it's just like similarly to the tram station that we've gotten in Willow Creek. Uh, time will tell, but hopefully it's going to be usable to at least travel between different neighborhoods and, you know, just open up a different loading screen. So this is what the train station looks like, and it seems that there is a whole new gesture of uh, greeting people inside of this new world which looks great um i'm loving all of the new cast items that i've seen so far i cannot lie it looks pretty 
pretty cool. Now, they're showing off skiing once again in some of these frames. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of effort uh, going on within the animation studio. They've done a lot of cool things uh, to make this look realistic in the game. And honestly, I cannot complain looking at these fun snowy activities that we're going to be getting with this new pack. We also get like rock climbing, which could be recycling some of the animations that we've gotten uh, from the Sims 4 Fitness stuff pack. But, you know, uh, that only makes so much sense to recycle some, some of the portions. But... Uh, from uh, the frames that they've shown off, it seems that there's more than just that. Uh, we will possibly be able to camp into some of the uh, very cold mountain areas uh, that seem to be probably exclusive only by, you know, climbing the mountains. Uh, so I cannot wait to see that. And it also seems that Sims are being affected by the temperatures. So some of the features from the Sims 4 Seasons probably have to be implemented into this pack. Of course, none of this will be translating over to previous worlds, but yes, they probably had to, you know, copy and paste some of the features for this world to make it a complete experience. Uh, now, you will also be able to camp into the mountaintops and reach the final mountaintop, which seems to be a whole hidden away location. Uh, time will tell about that, but we are getting hot springs. Now, I'm hoping that this isn't just a ploppable, you know, hot tub object that you are placing down, but also maybe a pond tool, hot springs tool, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, we will see about that, but uh, I'm loving the architecture and all of the objects that are coming along with this pack. Honestly, I'm amazed how well they've done uh, the world and the objects and the architecture. It just looks so great. They've also shown off some of the tourists. What I want to know is the Simstagram feature actually coming with this pack. Perhaps are we going to be able to capture some of the screens in the game and portray some of our uh, Sims adventures in the game? Uh, yeah, we will see about that because, you know, it wouldn't be the first time that the Sims team has done a gimmick like this in their reveal trailers. I do want to know what this sprite is all about, what this creature is. The pack is looking amazing. And yes, we are also getting the customizable surfaces. So you are going to be able to place down a surface like this and place the objects on top of it. I think that this was first introduced with the Sims 2 Apartment Life. Then later on in the Sims 3 era, it was introduced with the Sims 3 Late Night. And now we are getting it in the, for the Sims 4 in the 10th expansion pack. I guess, well, better late than never. Uh, also, Sims will be able to take their shoes off um, when entering their homes, which finally. Um, and uh, I'm loving all of the gameplay. A portable cook pot. I'm loving this food. Oh my, so uh, once again, a little bit a showcase of the sledding and we also get these venting machines. The Play With Life slogan is giving me the Sims 3 vibes. I really want to know what's coming along more with this pack, but they did reveal more information behind the scenes. So let's dive deeper into all of that. First of all, I want to showcase the official screenshots that they've shown. Um, so you can see this tourist trap over here, which also seems to be a place where actual residents of Mount Kamarabi are live, residing in. Um, now here you can see a better look at the new hot springs. Um, I'm guessing that maybe, just maybe, we are going to be able to modify the hot springs considering that this looks like these objects may have been placed down afterwards, but we'll, time will tell, of course. Uh, the snowboarding and skiing, honestly, it looks so cool. And, you know, one of the architectural styles that are coming uh, with this pack. Now, let's dive deeper into the official description of the key features of this pack. Let's see what this pack is all about. So, gear up for thrilling snow sports to relax in natural hot springs and design your Japanese-inspired home in the Sims 4 Snowy Escape 
expansion pack. Discover new ways to adventure, challenge your sims to climb to the peak and bond with others in the world of Mount Komorebi. From sledding and snowboarding to hot pot around the kotatsu table, there's something to match every lifestyle. So the lifestyle word over here is a keyword and you will find that soon why. So chase your thrills, test your sim skills and endurance with activities on the mountainside. Grab skis for a downhill ride, strap on a snowboard to shred or bundle up on a sled with another sim. Prefer going up, build their rock climbing skill and challenge your sim to reach the mountain peak during daring, sometimes dangerous excursions. Uh, then find your zen, let your sim's worries float away in the natural hot springs, then unwind over hot pot around the kotatsu table or socialize while hiking through bamboo forest and snowy terrain. Bask in the serenity of mindful walks and soothing music to take control of your emotions and discover your inner zen. Create your sanctuary. Whether you prefer the traditional details or modern touches of Japanese inspired furniture and decor, you can incorporate shoji doors, windows and screens, tatami mats and more to design a home that complements your life. Take your shoes off at the Genken entryway in the soft glow of paper lanterns overhead or build your own rock garden outside. And define your lifestyle. Now please focus on this one. Unlock new personality and relationship effects with the introduction of lifestyles and sentiments. Lifestyles manifest in response to your sim's action and habits, changing their behavior appropriately. Similarly, shared experiences inspire sentiments and have a lasting impact on sim's relationship to each other, affecting their social interactions. Now, I want to talk about this a little bit more because it sounds very intriguing because it seems it's revamping the personalities of your sims from the ground up. Um, I found a press release for The Sims 4 Snowy Escape and it did mention some new information. So take a look. The Sims 4 Snowy Escape also introduces lifestyles and sentiments features, adding more depth to sims personalities and relationships. For the first time, up to 16 lifestyles will manifest in response to a sims actions and habits, changing their behaviors significantly more than create a sim traits, as they reflect a sims lived experiences. So sentiments represent how two sims can feel differently about the outcome of a shared experience and have a lasting impact on sims relationships to each other, affecting their social interactions. Now, first I want to talk about lifestyles. It's said over here that lifestyles have a much stronger impact than traits in the game. And that's probably because lifestyles in comparison to traits are something that your sims will learn over time as you play the game. Uh, unlike with traits that you just automatically assign and create a sim or maybe earn as a reward uh, by completing something. This lifestyle is something that your sims will be able to learn and it will change their behavior and most probably their autonomy as well. And with the sentiments, it feels like this is sort of like a memory feature, but for individual relationships between other sims. So with sentiment, it seems that a shared experience, maybe something that your sims have done together, will impact on your sims relationships. So this will also affect the social interactions. So all depending on the outcome, I don't know what all of this means, but it's definitely a step towards the right direction of revamping the personalities and, you know, social interactions and relationships in the game. Something like this was actually suggested back in January 2020 uh, with the community survey that SimGurus have posted. And, you know, the snowy escape features also surfaced over there uh, where I'm pretty sure they suggested sledding, snowboarding, skiing, all of, the, all of the features that we are actually seeing today in the reveal. And they've also talked about relationships and what we want to see first. So the whole feature prioritization, it seems that we're getting all of the features that we voted for uh, right now, uh, you know, beginning with the snowy escape. And it's just not known if the sentiments and lifestyles features, considering that, for example, lifestyles have more impact than cash traits, will this be included with the base game update before the release of The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, or is it going to be a feature exclusive with this expansion pack? Honestly, it doesn't make a lot of sense to make this fundamental feature be locked away behind an expansion pack, but you know, we also had calendars which were locked with The Sims 4 Seasons, but also we had some major 
features introduced to the base game uh, with an expansion pack for free. So who knows, time will tell. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep you guys posted on the website when the team confirms all of that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanna see more about these sentiments and the lifestyles. Now you can also check out the official assets for The Sims 4 Snowy Escape on Sims Community. We have the logo, the icon, the box art, which is now in the style of The Sims 3 box art. So finally, the whole space over here is filled up with some cool backgrounds. We also have the official renders. This render over here. I love the hairstyles, I love the furniture, and I love the whole culture that they've added with this pack. It just looks so great. And of course, the official screenshots as well. Now, I've also talked about the customizable platforms, uh, which is 99% gonna be a feature that we're getting with a Sims 4 base game update. Just considering that all the major build features have been introduced with an expansion pack, but you know, we've gotten them through a base game update right before the release of an expansion pack. So I cannot wait to play with that in the game. And honestly, yeah, I cannot say that this should have been in seasons just because they've done, you know, a whole new culture with this expansion pack. You know, we also have the snowy mountains, but we also have this whole concept of the Asian culture that they've implemented so well from what I can see from the screens and the assets. And also I really want to know more about the lifestyles and sentiments that they've only teased about. So yeah, this pack legit looks cool. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on all the latest news and information on The Sims 4 Snowy Escape and The Sims franchise in general on simscommunity.info and on this YouTube channel as well. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the Sims 4 Snowy Escape and some of the fundamental upgrades that the Sims 4 is gonna get with this expansion pack? Let me know in the comments and yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!